Hi, this is Dimitri Bilgear, and I'd like to talk to you real briefly today about this really radical idea uh, that is, don't try to imitate the state of Christ. Now, we want to be Christ-like, right? I mean, that's absolutely true. But I want to point out to you today, the, it's, there's important dangers to when you try to imitate the state of Christ. And that's what I want to talk about here, so you can avoid those and actually be more Christ-like rather than getting caught in the trap of this. So I want to talk to you real briefly about how that works and how you can avoid it. So first off, what is happening when we decide we want to be more Christ-like? Well, what most people do, what happens for them, is they say, okay, this is me, All right? Here I am. Most of me is wanting to do good. But there's a part of me that actually doesn't particularly feel like doing good. It's a part of me, I like to think of these parts as the uh, dog part of me and the pig part, right? So you've got this dog part and this pig part. The dog part is, uh, they call it the irascible nature. It's the part just rah, 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 to everything. It's like the part of you that you want to be good, but there's a part of you that kind of wants to retaliate when people do things that you don't like. There's a part of you that wants to yell at people when you get impatient, wants to honk at people when you're driving. It's a rascal. It's the part that wants to say no. The part that wants to fight about everything. It's rah, 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 rah. no, 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 no. And then, so there's the dog nature is in here. And then... There's also the pig nature. The pig nature is in this part. And that's the part that uh, it's kind of an out of date word. People call it, used to call it the concupiscent self, the part that's avaricious. Uh, simply put, it's the part of, of that, that is basically all about the stomach and the genitals. It's about fulfilling the desires, like a pig, just going, rah, 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 eat as much as I want, go after whatever I want sexually, rah, 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 rah. right? That's also in that dark part. So what we do is people do is say, all right, you know what? I want to be more Christ-like. So I want to be more Christ-like. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ignore this part and say no to its existence. And I'm going to say yes to this part. I'm going to only focus on the parts of me that are of the good and of the light and that want to do good and want to do what I'm supposed to do and be obedient. And I'm going to pretend that other part of me, this dark part of me, the dog and the pig part, I'm going to pretend they don't exist. And that is what a lot of Christians do. They say, all right, I'm going to act as if I don't have a pig nature and I don't have a dog nature. So fine, what happens when you do that? Well, if you've got a pig running around your house and if you've got an angry dog running around your house and you ignore them, what happens? Do they go away and everything is fine? No, they start biting all your guests and knocking over the furniture and eating all your food. And they, I mean, imagine this is really what it's like. Like you've got this rabid dog and this crazed pig in your house. And if you're doing this, if you're saying, I don't have them, they just get to do whatever they want. And if you don't believe me, witness what happens to so many of our Christian leaders. That the, the, on the outside, they look good. They're just saying yes to all the stuff that's good about them. And it is good stuff. But then they have this dark other life where they're doing dark other things. Now, I'm going to put to you, that's the dog and the pig with no supervision, with no control, with no nothing, because that person is saying, no, I'm going to say this part of me doesn't exist. The only part of me that I'm going to allow to exist is the good part that I like. All right? Because I want to imitate the state of Christ. Christ didn't have those things. So I'm going to act as if I don't. Well, but you do. And unless you want a dog and a pig smashing up your house, then you need to acknowledge that they exist and take steps to manage them and be responsible for them.
What generally happens for uh, us Christians is we start to see that we have the dog part and the pig part. And what we do is we say, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to say no to that harder. And I don't mean you should say yes, like go do what they want you to do. I'm saying saying no to that existing. I'm going to step on that part of myself more. So what we do is we say this whole thing. We go, no, no. You can almost like hear people, no, I'm going to pretend even harder it doesn't exist and just imitate the state of Christ. I'm sure that'll work. And the dog and the pig go more and more crazy. So then we go, we start saying, no, one of the ways we say no is by being merciless with ourselves. I'm going to beat the crap out of that part of myself. I'm going to just hate on that part of myself. Uh, so basically, what do we know? God's mercy outweighs his wrath. God is more merciful. God is merciful, right? Gave his only begotten son, merciful to humanity. But we're going to step away from that mercifulness and be unmerciful on ourselves. Be relentlessly mean to ourselves as a way of trying to deny and manage this part. Well, that <laughs> now you're really not imitating the state of Christ. Because while Christ could be strong, he was merciful. He was a source of mercy and compassion and love. But now we've got, okay, I want to be like that, so I'm going to pretend this part of me doesn't exist. And then when I pretend that part of me exists and it comes out, I become unmerciful and violent to myself and dark and mean. Well, now you're further away from being Christ-like. Oops. So what is the way to do this? Obviously, we can't have the dog and the pig acting out. But just by becoming unmerciful on those parts of yourselves, you turn into somebody who is not, who is further away from being Christ-like. So you have to start by having mercy and stepping into compassion for yourself and stepping into saying, wow, I do have these parts. And it's really, it actually does hurt my heart when these parts act out. I do become upset and I do lose heart in life. They do sometimes bring me down and they do make me weak. In that place, rather than saying, how do I hit myself harder? What you need to do is turn to Christ and say, help. I know that you're there for me. Please show me how you are there for me. Let me feel how you're there for me, even when I have these parts, even when I have the impulse to retaliate, even when I have the impulse to overeat or act out. How are you with me even when those are parts of me? How is your love with me even when I have those parts? How is your mercy and your compassion and your forgiveness? What's it like when that fills me even when I have those parts? Now, when you do that, you will start to shift inside. You will start to feel a love and a fullness. And when you feel that, I would put to you, when you are filled up with his mercy, even when you are imperfect, what do you know? You're a lot closer to experiencing the state of Christ. Of mercy, love, and compassion. So I know this is a really fast way to get this out to you, but I just see so many people falling into this trap, so many Christian brothers and sisters falling into this trap. Um, there is a root to mercy and being Christ-like, but it is a lot more like, oh, I see I have the dog and the pig. Wow, it really hurts. Please help me, God, when I have that. Oh, I feel filled with your love and blessing. Wow, now I can be more like you in the world. This is Dimitri Bilgear from My Heart to Yours, signing off.